Hello Stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. So I'm just wondering if the bears won or lost. I was just in the kitchen having a little snack and um, turned the TV on and saw that the bears were tied with the Saints, I believe, 23 to 23. Do we have any bears fans out there? My Anna's family, her husband's family, are all huge Bears fans, so I know they're sitting on the edge of their seats right now, and I feel for them. Our Packers didn't fare so well today, but I'm pretty sure they lost. When I lost track of the game, it was 17-28, to 28 and they were the 17. So, oh, what happened to them today, I don't know. Do we have any football fans on here? <laughs> I did watch most of the game, but then I got engrossed in what I was making for you tonight, and I just totally missed the end of it. It was on, but I didn't see it. Oh, I don't have my crown on. Nah. Heavens, what was I thinking? <laughs> I am going to bring you guys up on my screen. Oh, let me see if I can figure out how to do that. Because I've got my iPad here in front of me, and I'm just not sure how to use it. Oh, there I am. Okay. Then I'll be able to see your comments coming in a little easier when I flip the camera around. I see Rhonda and Becky and Ruth is here and Ellen and Jackie popped in and Jeannie. Welcome, you guys. Did you guys have a good Halloween? Yeah. Um, as you could see from my pictures, our Halloween was fantastic. It's probably the first time in years that I wasn't home to... Um, Oh, the bears lost, Diana said. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, first time I wasn't home in years because I'm usually here handing out candy. But I went to my Anna's house. She had a Halloween party and I have to tell you. Do you think I went a little overboard? I think I did. But it was so much fun. And she goes, Kelly, you did so much. And I'm like, oh, Anna. So here's the story. When Anna announced that she was going to have a little Halloween party for our family and a few friends, I was like giddy because I've always wanted to have Halloween parties, but our house is not set up for that. It is not set up for entertaining indoors. Outdoors, we can throw a heck of an outdoor party, but inside it just isn't. It's too small. It's not open. It's just not good for indoor parties. So when Anna said she was going to have a Halloween party, I'm like, I'm having a Halloween party finally. <laughs> so yeah, I went a little crazy. We had so much fun. The kids had a blast. Um, all the food was fantastic. And oh my Lord, I have such a problem with party food. Like I can't stop eating. Like I'm full. I'm beyond full, but I'm still munching on stuff and ugh. Hang on. I'm going to turn my heater off. I had it on because my feet get cold, but now I'm starting to get warm and oh, pretty soon we'll have a little hot flash. Don't worry. <laughs> so you guys, what do I have to update you on? Um, I'm a little giddy also because, and I shouldn't even tell you this because it's not really that nice, but my husband is out in Nebraska bow hunting for a week. <laughs> I know, right? Is it wrong of me to be like kind of excited about that? <laughs> it probably is, but you know, I'm no angel. You guys know that. So, um, yeah, he left. I stayed up with him until he left at 2 a.m. Friday morning and he was super excited. He was a little cranky because he had to get up at like 1.30 to get ready to go. And me, I'm just like, da -da -da, I'm working and making cards. And he's like, oh my God, I wish she would shut up. I could see it in his face. <laughs> I don't usually talk to him much in the morning. Um, you guys saw the Halloween pictures of the kids. And can I just say that little Miss Val knocked it out of the park. Or I should say Haley and Jared did. Well, probably mostly Haley. Um, so stinking adorable, right? When you saw it, did you just laugh? That's what I did when I saw her. I was just like laughing hysterically. It was so cute. Oh, Danny says the AC was back on today. It's in the 90s. My Lord, it's kind of cold and crummy outside. I haven't even stepped outside today. I let the cats out, let the cat back in, but I haven't. I haven't gone outside at all. But anyways, yeah, the Halloween costumes were just hysterical. 
Um, and I don't know, maybe that's why I love Halloween. I wore my Mike Wazowski outfit. That's what I always wear. I actually made that for Haley when she was about 12 years old. And um, she wears it. She wore it on Friday to school. There are no kids there. Well, there's a few kids at her school. But um, she went in to do some stuff at school. And so she wore, she wears the costume every year. And then I get it for Halloween. And that's how I usually hand out candy is dra dressed as Mike Wazowski from Monsters Incorporated. For any of you who may not know who that is, that's who it is. You know, Sully, the big blue monster. And then you got the short round eyeball. <laughs> So yeah, I made that costume like many, many years ago when Haley was 12. She's 26 now and it still fits us. So hi Haley. Um, it's my favorite costume. Absolutely adorable. Everybody loved Val's costume, Haley. Of course, you know that because it was like the best costume of the year, right? <laughs> so um, let's see, where did my list go? I got some, oh, I don't know what I did with it. Well, maybe this is it. I don't know. Anyways, um, I moved into my new bedroom. If you're in my VIP group, I gave everybody a tour upstairs of what's happening in our house. So I got to show everybody our bedroom. I'll post some pictures um, in the next few days, maybe. I have some plans for tomorrow morning that's going to take me away for a few days. So um, we got a new washer and dryer. I think I might have told you guys that last week. I don't know. But anyways... The washer, the dryer's, no, the washer's great because it's just set and you can push a button and everything starts. We didn't get a fancy one because we don't want all that. But the dryer, I, I can't remember which setting to put it on, so I don't like that one. <laughs> like, I want it just easy. Like, why can't I just put it someplace and push a button like the washer? I don't know, but it is what it is, right? Um, I've got a John update for you. Steve told me before he left that there are spiders falling out of the tree. He thinks it's COVID. They're dropping like flies. <laughs> and I did see some spiders on the ground. So it's been pretty windy here. And then a little update on the pod across the street. It's gone. I don't know where it went. I don't know when it left. I don't know what it was for, but I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to text Steve and tell him that it's gone. Thanks, you guys. Everybody's saying your bedroom is awesome. They love the barn door. Debbie says thank you for the happy mail. You guys are so welcome. Thank you so much. Everybody is always so gracious, right? Debbie Bach loves the makeover. It was really fun. And this Friday, my guy, Fred, is coming to start on my new office. So I'm really excited about that. Now, um, in my VIP group this week, I did a Facebook Live and showed everybody how to make an adorable gift card holder with a little belly band on it. It was really cute. If you'd like to get into my VIP group, all you have to do is place an order with me. And um, that does not inclu include the kits or the online classes that I sell. You have to go to my store, my online store, and place an order, and you'll get in the VIP group. It's a lot of fun. I've been doing a lot of cool stuff in there. Um, which reminds me, where's our giveaway? Uh, right here. I did pick a winner for the Have a Hoot bundle. I told everybody I was going to announce this Sunday night here on my Facebook Live. And um, everybody just had to tell me if they had any plans for Halloween, what they were doing. And if they didn't, that's okay too. But everybody that left a comment was entered in a drawing to win the Have a Hoot. Let me see if I can mirror my screen. Hang on. This is always a little scary. There we go. The Have a Hoot bundle. We've got dies and the stamp set. This is great for Halloween and Christmas. Um, I did an online kit class with this, which was really fun. And where's my winner? Leanne White of Dayton, Ohio. You are the winner. Thank you to everybody that left a comment to tell me what you were doing for Halloween. I read through all of them. And um, some people had some big plans. Some people didn't. So it was it was fun to read through them. I've got this ready to go in the mail. Look for your happy mail this coming week, Leanne. And then, um, what else? For those of you that um, met the challenge, my um, promotion for October was if you placed a $150 order. Oh, did I not mirror my screen? There we go. If you placed a $150 order with me in the month of October, you were gonna get this Merry Hello stamp set free. Um, I did do a whole bunch of those from 
October 1st until probably Thursday or Friday out in the mail already, but I will get the rest of these out in the mail probably late this week. So just watch for those coming. If you have one coming, you don't have to do anything. I will, I'll pull my reports and I'll be able to tell. The DSP sale ended yesterday. That's great. This is not my list. <laughs> that was my list for something else. Um, let's see. Here's my list. And I messed with the pages. So hang on. <laughs> okay, so I did the Have a Hoop Bundle winner. Oh, I wanted to show you guys my center stage gift. Where is that? Right here. So, and Margaret Day, if you are watching, I saw that you left a comment asking if I got your email because you won the all the trimmings, embellishments, like last week or the week before. I did not get an email from you. I did a search for your name. So, if you could please private message me, maybe on Facebook, or pop me another email. My email address is kelly, K-E-L-L-Y, at astampabove.com. And give me your address so I can get those out in the mail. I will hold these for one more week. So, um, And then we, Stamping Up Demonstrators or Discount Shoppers, we're not judgy, all across the world are starting to get gifts from Stampin' Up. We have a big event coming this weekend, and it is called, this coming weekend, it's called On Stage at Home. Now, usually this is a time I would be going to Salt Lake City or Orlando or someplace fun for a big Stampin' Up event. And, of course, we can't do it this year because of COVID wrecking our life. <laughs> but this is my center stage gift. So... If you have a certain title or above with Stampin' Up, they have a special dinner usually on Friday night that we get to attend and they always give us a special gift. This is my center stage gift and I was super excited about it. Look what it is. So I got some new paper snips and then I got this bracelet. And it was kind of funny because it's not a bracelet at all, but I thought it was a bracelet. <laughs> it's really pretty. Let's see if I can get the little tag out here. There we go. It's got a little, oh, can you see it? A little envelope. Nope, it keeps turning over. Hang on, let me see if I can get it. There we go. How about if I do it this way? It's got a little envelope in there. This little charm. It's got a, um, this is a Stampin' Up! charm. Hang on, there we go. Little Stampin' Up! charm right there. And then it's got this rubber thing on the end. We're not all quite sure what that is, but most of us are going to take it off because we don't like it. But I love the rest of the brace bracelet. <laughs> It's a scissors charm, you guys. It has this big claw hook on it, and you hook it on your scissors. And I used to have a scissors charm on my scissors, and uh, it broke because, of course, I use my scissors daily. But isn't that fun? I thought, what a great gift. I need to find my comments again. There we go. Um, so anyways, I got some new snips and a cute scissors charm that I thought was a bracelet, but it's not. And I might make it a bracelet. Who knows? But that was a really fun gift. I love getting these gifts. It's, um, it's, it's fabulous to work with a company that really recognizes your hard work, right? Oh, what did you say? Somebody said something about the rubber thing. Hang on, who was that? Oh, I missed it. The rubber thing is to put the blades of the scissors in. Oh, see, I don't know, no, I know nothing. Thank you so much. I'm going to tell my friends that because they didn't understand the rubber thing either. And they're all like, I'm taking that off. And I'm like, yeah, I think I might pull it off too. Brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> I love you guys. You help me out more than you could know. Now, if you are a Stampin' Up! Demonstrator discount shopper and you are going to on stage this weekend, this is a spoiler alert. This is my on stage box with my swag bag in it. And if you do not want to see this, if you haven't gotten yours yet and you don't want to see it, close your eyes and mute your screen so you don't hear all about it. Because I don't want to spoil anything for anybody, but I definitely want to show what I got. So we got this nice little letter from Sarah. Sarah is the CEO of Stampin' Up! That's Shelly Gardner's daughter. And then here comes my swag bag. These are so cute. Absolutely love it. We've got the Stampin' Up! logo on it right there. This great big bag. This is going to be so useful. It's got like a compartment underneath. Look at that. I have a bag like this with a compartment. I usually put my shoes in there. It's a little bigger bag, like luggage. And then we got this really fun pen that matches. 
can. Here we go. So it's all rainbowy, right? Because the bag is rainbowy. And we got some trading pins. And these are just fun little things that we can trade with other demonstrators. And I think we're going to actually do it by mail. And should I show you this new stamp set? I'm going to enjoy the moment. Look at how pretty that is. These are kind of watercolor images. And I love that style of stamp. So can't wait to see what we're going to do with this. What else did I get? Um, some notebooks. I haven't opened these yet, but some little notebooks here. And I'm assuming an agenda in here. Yep. There we go. And some, I think this is, is this grid paper? Oh, it's a mat. Look at that. It's a stamping mat. So that's really cool. Yeah. So, like I said, I love a company that takes care of its people and rewards us. And, um... I'm sad I can't be in Salt Lake City. I gotta get rid of this. I'm sad I can't be in Salt Lake City this weekend, but hey, what are you gonna do? I'm actually headed for Wyoming this weekend, so I'm not gonna whine too much. <laughs> oh, I see a lot of you guys are saying the rubber thing is for putting your scissors in. Thank you so much because I had no idea. I'm missing all of your comments. All right, I'm done with the swag bag if you didn't wanna see it. I'm gonna put this back here. I've got prizes to hand out. Um, let's see. I've got comment for commenting last week. Please make sure if you're new to me that you leave a comment. And Wendy says she loves the pins. They are really cute, right? And there's like three different sets of them. So there's a, or three or four different sets of them. So they're really fun. Um, leave a comment and you will get entered in a drawing to win fabulous prizes. And Kelly Perfect of Oshkosh, Wisconsin is going to win these adhesive backed snowflakes. Kelly, these will be in the mail to you tomorrow. Congratulations. Kelly is a loyal viewer and I don't know if she's ever won before. So I was thinking about that when your name came up in the drawing. I'm like, oh, I don't know if Kelly's ever won. So I was happy to do that. Um, next we have the Tags and More Accessory Kit. This is retired, but this is a fun little kit to make some bags and tags. There's a lot of neat things in here. And I drew, this is for sharing. So make sure you click on that share button. You can share right now, share my video, and you'll be entered in a drawing to win fabulous prizes also. <laughs> my winner this week for last week's Facebook Live is Mary Olson of Omro, Wisconsin. Mary, you're the big winner. Congratulations. I will have that out in the mail. Oops, let me get your sticker back on there. Tomorrow. And then where'd the rest go? Okay. Um, I have a whole bunch of stuff that I need to give away. I'm hoping before the end of the year. So I'm starting to double up on things a little bit. And for placing an order, you also get entered in drawings. So commenting, drawing sharing, drawing, and placing an order is another drawing. And I have the, I think this is a Happy Hellos. Grab this. Oh, that's not it. Here it is. Things are going to start falling. You know they are. Ugh. Okay. Happy Hellos. This stands or Merry Hello. This package. So, I've got that to give away. And then I thought I'd sweeten the pot. And we have these beautiful glitter gems. I'm gonna throw those in with the stamp set. And also some of the striped ribbon, which I thought would be an absolute perfect little gift here. And for placing an order last week, Lisa Baldoff of Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, you are the winner. And did you guys notice that Wisconsin is in the house tonight? They like. It's a trifecta with Wisconsin winners. So we're all winners, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm going to set this back here so it doesn't get mixed in with anything else that needs to go out in the mail. Um, I did a little early voting. And I don't want any people to come here except that I voted early. So I have a funny story to share with you. Um... I got to the city hall to go get a, what they call a mail-in ballot or something because I, I was thinking I might be gone this week. And so um, I got there and there was a sign that said you could go right over to the senior center and vote. And I thought, well, why don't I just get this over with and do it? 
So I walked over to the senior center and I voted and came back and I climbed in my Explorer. Remember like about a month ago, I got a, a new Explorer and I climbed in my Explorer and I'm like, why is the seat back so far? Are you guys figuring out what I did? And I'm like, it smelled funny. And I'm like, yeah, it's kind of dirty. I thought he had this cleaner than that, meaning Steve, because he's like a clean freak in the vehicles. Not me so much, but him. And I'm like, then I turned around and looked. That's not my back seat. Like, I have a council between my two seats. <laughs> oh my God. And then I jumped out. And then, you know, you look around to see if anybody saw you because you're really embarrassed. And the first thing I thought was, it's his fault. The first thing I thought is, well, he should have left his doors. <laughs> Who's done that? Who's just, like, totally gotten into somebody else's vehicle like you owned it and then realized it wasn't yours? I've never, ever done that before, but now I can check that off my list. <laughs> it was super funny, you guys, so... see me do that <laughs> anyhow it was cute um I have only left in arrange a wreath um celebrate sunflowers I can't even read my own writing celebrate sunflower snowflake splendor and artistry blooms if anybody is looking for pre-cut cardstock packs with the online classes I still have a few of those available Next month, not next month, this month for November, we are going to be using Kirby Celebrations. And I think I may have shown this to you. Oh, now I'm not going to be able to find it. Oh, I see it. Hang tight because, holy cow, you know what a mess things are here. Here we go. Kirby Celebrations. We have quite curvy. This starts on Tuesday. And uh, let's show you that. The dies are really, really cool. And then we have this pretty little stamp set that is gorgeous. Um, Tuesday is November 3rd. That's when this is available to the public. This is a promotion that will last until January 4th, I think. And I know I wrote that down someplace. Hang on. Um, yep, there it is, January 4th. And to go along with that, oh, where'd that paper go? sheet that's all cut up I think but um, we have some fabulous Christmas paper to go with the second stamp set in this promotion that is called curvy Christmas and if you look at that these are really really cool it's so hard for me to do this backwards you guys that's why I'm always fumbling so don't think like I'm like ah she been drinking no I haven't <laughs> but this is really cool now the paper and this stamp set the Curvy Christmas will only be available until January 4th. You can, through January 4th, okay? The Quite Curvy with the dies is going to be in our Spring Mini Catalog. The paper and the Christmas set only available until January 4th. So I just want to make sure everybody's on the same page with that. Now, with a promotion like this, when we have a promotion... I always, always, always buy it. First of all, you know, I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and this is my business. But even as a customer, I always bought the promotions. And the reason is, is because demonstrators all across the world purchased this entire suite of products. And every one of them is hammering out samples to share. And so when we have a promotion, you're going to find a gazillion different ideas with the promotion because we love new product and we love to share new product, right? So it's, um, it's pretty cool and I am very happy with it. These dies are amazing. I love border dies. I'm just always about border dies. So anyways, that starts on Tuesday. That's my next online class for the month of November is using the Kirby Celebration Suite. So just want to make sure you know that it's coming. Um, when you purchase the suite from me, you're going to get the online class for free. Now, I'm not sure yet exactly all the contents of the product offering to get the class free. So just hang tight on it for a little bit. I'm hoping to have that information available this week. 
And then I'm looking at my list over there, which is gone someplace. Um, oh, there it is. Uh, the month of November, freezing fun. That's going to be my kit class for the month. And that one is right here. Look at that, how cute that is. Freezing fun and dies. There we go. I get on the screen. Can you see me peeking through there? Because I can't see what's going on. That's going to be my kit class with Ashley Pfeiffer out of Canada. So I'm excited about that. And then our December class is going to use the Press On, which is a super fun little stamp set. It's not going to be about any holiday. It's just going to be, you know, regular stamping, not Christmas, none of that. Then In the Pines. Who has In the Pines? That product bundle is amazing. That's going to be my December online class. And the cool thing about this online class in December with um, In the Pines is... Oh, Cheryl says she doesn't have any sound, but I'm pretty sure everybody else can hear me. So if you touch your screen, Cheryl, when you touch your screen, there might be a little, um, a little like amplifier looking speaker thing that comes up and you can then turn your volume up or down. I'm sorry. But um, anyways, In the Pines in December is going to be all about men. Hmm? Yeah. Um, even if you're a man hater, no, nobody should hate men, but some people do. Um, you do need man cards, right? You need birthday cards, you need get well cards, an occasional thank you card even. Somebody comes over and does something nice for you. Um, so that's what the class is going to be about in December. So I just wanted to let you know that. And <laughs> Chris Wood said, me. Yeah. And I think that's it. I think that. We are ready to stamp. Now, I, oh, I got to put Margaret Day's embellishments up here. Margaret, you make sure you get a hold of me so I can send these to you. Oh, I wanted to tell you one more thing. So did I tell you guys the story about when I went to, I, I had the fluid in my middle ear and I felt like somebody was jamming an ice pick in my ear, like every five minutes. So I went to the doctor and the doctor said, take some Sudafed. So I went to Walgreens to fill my prescription and, um, I went to order suit. Driver's license is expired. What? Yeah, my driver's license has been expired since my birthday in July, and I had no clue. So that was great. But then I looked at the guy, and I'm like, seriously, do I look like a meth head? Like that's what you do with Sudafed is you make meth. And then I was thinking about it. Well, let's see. At that time, my right eye wouldn't close, so I'd blinking like this, and my face was like this because it was all so <laughs> like I probably do look like a meth head. So, anyways, um, I got my new driver's license. I look like a complete product. They kind of cut your hair off, which is weird. Yeah, but there's my mugshot. New license came in the mail today. Yay! Okay. We're ready to stamp. Um, is everybody having problem with sound tonight? Are there people that can hear okay? It's glitching. That's wonderful. There's nothing I can do about that, but I'll tell you what I am going to do. I'm going to turn my TV off. I turned off my laptop. All I've got going is an iPad and my phone. So you guys let me know if it's better. Lost sound. Everybody lost sound. That's just great. Sound is breaking up really bad. So I'm going to wait and see. Just for a minute, I'm going to start getting out my stuff. You guys tell me if my sound improved since I turned off my other things. Because Steve's not here. He's not, like, streaming music in the garage. So, yep, I see that, Terry. I'm breaking up really bad. Jeez, are you kidding me? I don't know if I should shut down and start over so you can hear me, or what do you guys think? Breaking up is bad. I've got everything else turned off in this house. Not that that should matter, because we've got really good internet here. That's not working tonight, apparently. Okay, Connie, tell me. Lisa, I can hear, but it's breaking up. Okay, so we're still breaking up. Okay. I think what I'm going to do is I am going to shut this down. Oh, I hate to do that. Oh, it's good now. Okay. 
All right. I'm going to stay up then. It's better now, Jackie said. Okay, thank you guys so much. I really rely on you to keep me straight here and tell me what's going on because, of course, I can't watch my Facebook Live. Hang on. I got to make sure my license gets back in my purse, right? I'll throw that over there. <laughs> do you guys do that? <laughs> I put stuff over on the floor. I have to walk over it so don't forget to take it someplace. <laughs> like in my purse or just in the kitchen or out in the mailbox. I don't throw my mail, though. That could dent a card, right? We're not that careless. No. Okay. So, excuse me. Yeah, it's really um, has been windy here today. I don't know if it is right now, but it has been windy here today. So um, we are going to be using In the Pines. Yay! And I'm carrying a beautiful, brightly gleaming specialty designer series paper tonight. I love this paper. It is so beautiful. It goes with our copper um, foil paper. We've got some brushed copper right now. It's just gorgeous. This paper, and then we're going to be using that wrapped in Christmas set again. I used this on my gift card holder in my VIP Facebook Live this last week, and it was um, it's so useful. I love the sentiment set. I've got my stamps here. We're also going to be using the basket weave metallic and metallic ribbon. We're going to be using the copper color, of course, right? And then I have a whole bunch of cards to share with you, so don't let me forget to do that. All right, I think we're ready to flip this baby around. Oh, it's breaking up, I move around. So I think it'll help when I flip my camera over. So hang tight, you guys. I have to unmirror my screen, otherwise everything will be backwards. There we go. And close your eyes. We're going to flip this around. Oh, geez, where did my thing go? Hang on. Nobody wants to see up my nose, right? There we go. Did anybody see the candy corn over there? <laughs> yep. Thanks, Lynn, for the two bags of candy corn. It cracked one open, and they came just in time because I just ran out of candy corn. So you guys remember last week when Lynn... Brought me the, she sent me candy corn with chocolate peanuts, I might add. So, uh, yeah, I'm all over that. I got one bag going here with the candy corn. Okay, here we go. Now, that paper. Also, these ornament punches. There was two of them. This was a bundle with this, the whole suite in last year's mini catalog. And Stampin' Up! did something a little different this year in that they brought some of our products back from the um, mini catalog. Another one was the Moose stamp set and punch, but it wasn't available all year until our new holiday catalog came out. So this paper matches nicely with the ornaments. And also, I would highly recommend the Evergreen Forest 3D Embossing Folder. Now, I'm not going to use it on my card tonight, but I did on the gift card holder I made in the Facebook Live the other day on my VIP group, and look at how beautiful that is, right? It is just stunning and gorgeous. So I highly recommend this and this. And also to go along with um, this paper, I also recommend the brushed metallic cardstock because that's really pretty and um what else i recommend this ribbon because we've got the copper in here oh and the copper stars where are those hang on i gotta find the copper stars where did they go oh i know i'll bet you they're in with my card okay so here we go with our card i'm gonna move this out of the way can you guys hear me Still breaking up even though you flipped. Nancy says the sound is fine. Maureen has no sound. Maureen, other people are hearing me. Cindy said she can hear me fine. Lois is breaking up and buffering. Oh, and Laura found caramel candy corn. Oh, Lord, that sounds good. Huh. Well, I'm going to keep going, you guys, because most of this is visual. So we're just going to hope for the best. All right. 
here comes all of our layers. Oh, here's the stars. I highly recommend these stars. They're brass also, and they go along with this whole, this whole set of paper. It's gorgeous. All right. I've got four and a quarter by 11. I've already scored it at five and a half. We're just gonna get out our bone folder. And then, let me put my little cheat sheet up here with all of my, we're gonna be using very vanilla. So I also recommend vanilla envelopes because that just looks really nice when you're using um, very vanilla. This little piece of vanilla is two and an eighth by three and three eighths, okay? And then we've got some of that brushed copper metallic cardstock. This is just called brushed metallic cardstock. So if you go into my store and you search for it, you can just type in brushed and then it should pop right up and you can keep going with metallic, but usually you don't need to. This is just a little bit bigger than my vanilla layer. This is two and a quarter by three and a half. And I will be posting all of these dimensions, so <clears throat> you don't need to worry about that. Then we have designer series paper. And I have a card made out of this side, so I thought I would make it make my card tonight out of this side and then I can show both of them to you. This is that brightly gleaming specialty designer series paper, and this is three and a half by three and a half some more brushed metallic copper that is three and three quarters by three and three quarters and another piece of vanilla that's four by four and these are just going to stack on each other okay then i've got a piece of very vanilla for the inside and that is three and a half by four i've also got a little piece here that's half inch by four and a quarter we're going to decorate the inside with that and I've got two and a half by six for our envelope. So I think I'll do that right now. We're gonna get our envelope decorated. This is a very vanilla envelope, which is gonna look really nice with the very vanilla cardstock that's on this particular card. Do you guys remember when we used to have crumb cake envelopes too? So the difference between a vanilla and a white envelope is quite pronounced and it's going to look much nicer with a vanilla envelope, I think. Stampin' Up! envelopes are really nice quality. They have a really nice feel to them. You know you've got something of good quality when you feel these envelopes. So I'm just going to trim around this with my paper snips. Now I'm having a hot flash because my sound isn't working right. <laughs> you guys know this about me, right? That like when things don't go right, that's when I usually have a hot flash. <laughs> yeah, whoo, it's getting sweaty in here, but look how cool that is, right? That's gonna be really neat with our card. And I'll bring that back out. Let me throw those envelopes back in there. Okay. the dies here they are and what I've learned about these dies is that you're going to die cut the detailed tree on a piece of now you can do it in the middle of here that would be fine but I just have a scrap here so you're gonna die cut this on some copper metallic cardstock okay and when you do that you're going to end up with this. Now, there's another die that cuts out the outside of your tree because right now you could just put this in the front of your card and poke out all those pieces and life is gonna be golden. But if you want this tree to stand alone without the outside edges, you're going to then die cut the outside of it. And when you do that, it's gonna look like this. Is that not the coolest thing ever? Yeah. Okay, so we have that done. Let me put my dies back and my scrap back because we don't need that. The other thing I wanted to do is I've got a scrap of very vanilla here. There's a lot of dies in this in this um, tree die set. And again, that's called Pine Woods. You can get the stamp set and the dies together for a 15, 10% discount. Then I've got my stamps mounted over here. And I'm going to take 
the one that says Seasons Greetings. That's from the In the Pine stamp set with Pretty Peacock ink. And I'm going to stamp that right down here by the bottom of my little scrap. Then um, we're going to use the die, this die right here. And I'm going to make sure that my words are centered. And this die will cut off this edge, but it doesn't cut the bottom. So that's why I've got that bottom pushed right down to the bottom edge. You run this through your die cutting machine. And when you do that, this is what you're going to have. Okay, so let me put that back. And I think we might be ready for assembly. This is a very easy little card. Oh, I know, we need to do some scoring, you guys. So let me bring in my paper cutter. I'm, I told you this is a gift card holder, right? Yeah. So, get all my things out of the way. It's hard to operate like this, right? So we're going to take our 11 by 4 and a quarter inch piece and we're going to score it at 3 and 3 quarters. Oh, this is wrong. That's not going to work. Hang on. Sorry. I knew I shouldn't have scored it ahead of time. Okay, there we go. I'm just so used to doing that for a tall card. Okay, we're going to start over. And we're going to score this at two and three quarters. That was the right score mark. I just scored it wrong before we even got started. So we've got two, I'm sorry, three and three quarters. Get it together, Kelly. Whew. Where's my unicorn? That usually helps me. Here it is. It's probably because I didn't do that yet. I feel better now, don't you? <laughs> okay, three and three quarters and then nine and a quarter. So we're going to push that all the way over to nine and a quarter. There we go. So now we have our score lines. And again, all of these dimensions and score lines and everything will be on my blog. <clears throat> I'll also post them above the video when we're done today. It just fell on the floor. Hang on. I lost my lid to my glue. And then we're going to do this. Now, these meet in the middle. Okay. So we've got that going on. Now we're going to start stacking. Um, here we go. We're going to go like this. And we're going to do this. Yep. i to make sure I know what I'm doing here. This again is just four by four on the vanilla, three and three quarters by three and three quarters on the brushed. And this is going to go right on here. Then we're going to do the stripes. I have a card this way already, so we're going to try the stripes on this one. And we're going to glue this on here. This is a really easy card to make once you have your pieces cut. And then we are going to glue this right onto the top. Now, little thing here. If you look at this when you open it, you just want to center it on the top and the left and the right, okay? Because it's going to go over on this end. I don't want that to throw you. It's okay, it's supposed to, but you also don't want to put glue all the way at the bottom, so be very mindful of how far down you go with your glue. So we're going to go right here. <laughs> Jenny says, she goes, I'm not better. You shared a hot flash and now my face is burning up. I'm sorry. <laughs> I struggle with that too. And now we're gonna bring in this other piece of brush and we're gonna put this right about here, okay? So, um, before we do that, where did I, Here, here's our little bottom piece and this piece is gonna go right down here. So I left it extra long, my card is four and a quarter, but I left this scrap extra long so that I could make sure that my greeting was gonna be centered. And then we're just gonna snip it off. So I'm gonna put, a little bit of glue on here. Yeah, Robin says the metallic paper is so pretty. I completely agree with you. This brushed metallic is just gorgeous. It just has a whole different look to it from the shiny foil. You don't see the finger the fingerprints either, so I like that about it too. And now I'm just going to open this up and use my edge of my card as my guide to trim this off. Just like that. Okay, so there we go. We've got this going on. And then here comes 
these layers. So we're going to take this one. This one is two and an eighth by three and three eighths. And then that brushed is just an eighth of an inch bigger. So we've got a real small little margin here. And we're going to add this to the striped panel here. And again, we did this first so that we could bring this in and not cover up our little snow mountains. Whoops, let me see if I can get this straight. You want to just center this right in the middle. There we go. You're really, you're really um, on the line when you're using stripes, right? Like you better get it straight or it's going to be a complete disaster. Okay, next up, you're going to take, um, did we do this yet? Take a piece of this cardstock and use, this is pr um, pretty peacock, and cut out this outline tree. And that's, this is what we end up with when we do that. So, if you want to, it'd be a good idea to use the adhesive sheets when you cut this out so this will turn into a sticker, but I can never seem to remember to do that. So you need to be smarter than I am to make this card. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but please be smarter than I am when and use your adhesive sheets because I, I always forget about them and then I think about them after I have something die cut like, oh, that would have been genius, right? But no. Okay, I'm just going to put a little bit of glue. You don't need a ton of glue on here. It's going to stick. And we're just going to put this right over top of our pretty peacock tree. Look at how pretty that is, you guys. Isn't that just spectacular? <laughs> Wendy says she's loving this. Thank you so much, Wendy. You're so sweet. Okay. Next, we're going to do some dimensionals, and I think I'm going to bring in, I'm gonna, I've got big ones and the little ones. Look, I'm almost out of the ones I drew my lines on. I'm going to have to do that again, because that was really helpful. I had somebody tell me today, like, oh my gosh, that lines on your dimensionals is just genius. I'm like, I know, right? One of my, one of my, I think one of my team members is actually the one who shared that with me, and now I can tell that I have the backing off, because otherwise, when it's just white, you have to go around and feel them. It's like, oh, is that back off? You gotta feel it. Well, this way you just know it's off because there's no stripe anymore. Okay, here comes our little Christmas tree. We're gonna just kind of center that right in here. What do you guys think so far? Okay, then where's our ribbon? Let me close this. Ribbon, ribbon, ribbon. We're gonna bring in that basket weave and metallic ribbon. And I'm gonna tie this in a little tiny bow. Now, for those of you who are going to ask me about this bow jig, um, my friend Cindy, who was, her husband was making these, they're taking a little break right now. So if you're looking for one of these, you can contact me back about January and I should, she should be back in business, I'm thinking. So just want to give a little shout out to let you know that. I've had a few people inquire about it in the last week or so. Okay, so here's my cute little bow. And then we're gonna grab our mini glue dots. Where's my take your pick tool? I always like to use this for my mini glue dots. Hello, Cindy DeWitt. I'm happy to see you on here. And we're gonna take that bow and we're gonna put it right down here on the trunk of our little Christmas tree. So you saw that I kind of curled that mini glue dot up. Carol says, I wish I had this DSP now. Well, guess what, Carol? You can order it. So you go right to my store, right in there, <laughs> and get some of it. I'm pretty sure it's not a back order or anything. So, hi, Shelly Tesh. I miss you. Okay, now, what are we going to do on the inside here? We have to finish this up, right? I am going to take my glue and I'm gonna put a real thin line of glue over here. This is gonna be a pocket card. So we're gonna do that. And then the other thing I wanna do is take some of this striped that matches the front, and we're gonna put it right on this edge, just to dress it up a little bit. Whoops, get that stuck down here. Right on our edge. And I have to trim this off just a touch. Things like that really bother me. And then I wanted to take a piece. Now this is the inside piece, I think, right? Yep, okay. So this piece is 
three and a half by four. And what I wanted to do in here is just stamp some of these cute little Christmas trees. And I'm going to use my pretty peacock ink. And we're going to stamp these little trees right over here. Look at how fun those are, right? I think they're very elegant is a better word. And where did our, do you guys see the stars? Where are my stars? Stars, stars. Okay, I know I had them. Um, there goes a die. Um, oh, you guys are probably yelling at me, right? Like, Kelly, they're right there. Open your eyes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Debbie, get the bundle. You won't, you won't regret it, I assure you. I'm going to take one of these. Debbie's one of my team members. She's like, oh, now I'm going to have to buy this. I'm like, you're welcome. <laughs> there really are a gazillion um, different ideas with this in the pines and this paper and the ornaments and you know how it goes. Okay, so this just fits right here. I wanted a little something inside so I could write in there, right? And then here comes our gift card just like that so I can write a little message here here's our little gift card holder there's only one other thing that I wanted to do here and I've got these these are the um, adhesive back snowflakes that I gave away who won those Kelly perfect won those and um, I decided that I wanted to put just a couple snowflakes these are you got you guys get I think two sheets in here this is a couple different sets put together. So I'm going to grab these. Now these are kind of pinky and these are kind of just bluish and iridescent. So I'm going to use these and use my take your pick tool. And then I thought these would look really nice right down here by my snow. And one more here. How about right up there? Just a little bit of embellishment on there. What do you guys think? Here comes my envelope. Here's our little gift card holder. Got a real cute little inside there. You could put cash in here too. This would work great for cash also. I know sometimes I give cash, but I always give it in something nice. Like I hate giving gift cards. Like my gift card holders. So I don't use the ones they give you when you buy them at the store. That is so boring, right? Some of them are pretty creative, but still. I want to make This one does not. So you decide. This is a little more clean and crisp. This has a little bit more going on. I also did another very vanilla envelope. And again, if you guys are going to buy this in the pines, my recommendations to go with it would be the um, the 3D. This is the Evergreen Forest 3D embossing folder. Very vanilla envelopes. The brushed metallic cardstock as well as some of these brass stars and this combo pack of ribbon. This doesn't come separately, but this matches perfectly and it's so spectacular. So that would be my recommendation. And I love putting the little star inside that's very unexpected to open a card and have an embellishment in there. So I thought it was kind of neat. Okay, I'm gonna let those sit there for a second while I get my mess cleaned up here. And let's see, here's my little folder for my Pine Woods dies. And I'll put these away and this away. This, by the way, was called Christmas Gleaming with a Punch Pack. I think I'm going to use this again for our next project, so I'm going to keep that out. I'll put this in here, and this can go, and this can go, and this can go, and that can go. Okay. Oh. Let me get this cleaned up. I don't want this to mess up anything that I have in here. Thank you guys so much. Um, Kathy says she has 15 grands and they love it when they she makes a card for their cash for Christmas, right? Like, you think kids don't like that, but it's that little extra effort that really lets them know that they're special, right? I know my kids love it. Like, 
Um, I usually make some decor for Christmas gifts, and um, my Anna told me recently, and I have this, I've been giving the kids like some type of framed paper art every year for Christmas. My Anna told me that that is her all-time favorite gift of every single year is whatever I happen to come up with for home decor using paper crafts. And she does. She puts them up in her house every year, and she just loves them. So that made me feel really good. Because, you know, you never know. Do these kids like this stuff? Are they really going to, you know, are they going to be like, oh, i got to put this up because Mom gave it to me, blah, blah, blah. You know? You just don't know. And I don't want to be that mom. <laughs> That's what I don't want to be. Okay. Next up. I'm going to move these off to the side. Thank you guys so much. You're so sweet. Oh, there's Kelly. Kelly, you won tonight. Yay. Oh, here we go. This is going to be the dimensions for the boxes that I'm going to show you right now. And you are going to love these. These are so super simple. They're using the same paper that we used for the cards. So it's kind of going to be like a matching set. All right. Now, now, let me get my trimmer out here. So we're going to make a stack of boxes, okay? So your first box, this is the, it's going to be a stack. So a big box, a smaller, a smaller, and a smallest. The bottom box, you're going to cut your Knight of Navy cardstock. And you can use any color you want, right? Whatever coordinates with your um, designer paper. I'm using Knight of Navy. Nine and a half by nine and a half. Now, whoops, that's scrapbooking paper. So I had to go to my 12 by 12 paper for that. So when you're ordering the In the Pines bundle, get yourself some 12 by 12 paper in coordinating colors for the, your designer paper so that you can make this tower of boxes. Okay, so nine by nine. And then the Brightly Gleaming Specialty Designer Series paper for the lid is gonna be seven by seven. So what I did is I went through and I cut this. Then the next box, I used Mossy Meadow, eight and a half by eight and a half, and my designer paper, six and a half by six and a half, cut that. Next box, seven and a half by seven and a half and pretty peacock. Designer paper, five and a half by five and a half. The last box, the littlest one on the top, is six and a half by six and a half. And my lid with the designer paper is four and a half by four and a half. Here's the best part. You're going to score each bottom, so your solid colored card stocks, at two inches on all four sides. Each lid, which is your designer series papers is scored at one inch on all four sides. That is it. It doesn't get much easier than that, right? So this is the smallest box for the top. I'm using a very vanilla. This is six and a half by six and a half. Now you're going to put this in here and I've got just a really good little tip for you. The first set of boxes that I made, the lid was a little tight on them. And I thought, huh, how can I get that lid to fit perfectly without changing any of the dimensions? Because I hate that. That's then a lot of math and things, right? It's too much thinking. And um, so what I came up with is when I do the bottom, I instead of going just up to the two inches, I'm going to not see the two inch mark. So it's just a, just a teeny weeny weeny little smidge on top of the two inch line, okay? So we're going to score two inches on each side, and I'm going to do that just on top of the two-inch line. And score again, and then two inches, and two inches. This tiny little bit that I pushed it over is going to make it ever so slightly smaller so that my lid is going to fit better, or perfectly, I should say. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to take our designer series paper. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? Yeah. And we're going to score this at one inch because remember, each bottom or solid color is scored at two inches. Each lid or designer paper is scored at one inches. And now when I score at the one inch over here, I'm going to go so I can see the one inch line. Remember with this, I just pushed it over just a teeny weeny weeny bit so I couldn't see the line. Now I'm going to see the line and that's going to be just enough to make your box lid and bottom fit perfectly. So you're going to score that. Make sure you're a little kit more careful with your designer series paper that you don't score too hard. I did that on a couple of my lids 
If that happens to you and when you go to fold them, they tear, you just take a piece of tape and put it on the inside and it'll be fine. Nobody will ever notice. Don't just go, oh my Lord, I just ruined it because that's not true at all. Just add some. Get yourself. I'm almost, this is I think all I have left of my crummy Amish tape, you guys. And I am stubborn. I'm going to use it up. And then I'm going to probably have a burning party with the left, the dispenser. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Next up, we are going to cut on our score lines. And you turn over to whichever side you need to be able to see this better. Now, cut on all your score lines up to the other score lines. So we're going to have these tabs. But on the tab, I like to cut out a little notch. It doesn't have to be that big. But you want to do a little notch. Now don't do a little notch on the big part, only the tab. Because otherwise your box will look a little goofy around the outside edges if you cut the notch out of the big part. Meaning this. This is the side of the box. This is a tab. You're not going to see it. So there goes my little notch. Get that pulled out of here. And there we go. And last but not least going to do that okay we're going to do the same thing to this one so now that I've got to cut some stuff and um I wanted to let you guys know I do not know about next weekend I am going to be leaving for Wyoming and I think I'm leaving on either Saturday night or Sunday morning and again I'm cutting out of the tab not the side of the box um, I don't know if I'm going to have time before I leave to do a Facebook Live, not live, but I'm going to try because I never got up north to go hunting last weekend. And I see today that one of the Flatlanders, those are our people from Indiana, we call them the Flatlanders, they came up and went hunting by my mom's house and one of them got a humongous buck tonight and I yelled at him on Facebook and said, hey, that was my buck. So now I'm just mad. No, I'm really not mad. I'm happy for him. I'm just jealous. I never did get to go hunting last week because I had so many deadlines that I needed to meet and so many things that I had to do that I couldn't leave. So, I am leaving in the morning. Come hell or high water. Did I just say that? I did. I am leaving to go hunting because I said last year I spent so little time in the woods hunting during bow hunting season that I was ashamed of myself and this year I haven't even been in a tree. And I said last year that I would not let that happen again and here it is happening again. So <laughs> I just want you guys to know that I am going hunting and I will go sit in a tree and I don't care if I even see anything. Well, it would be nice to see stuff but I'm just going to go do my thing. I love bow hunting. It's my thing. And I'm just really sad that I haven't been there yet. So I'm going to see my mom and tomorrow morning, yeah, I can't leave till tomorrow because I want to go to Costco and get her some bacon. They have really good bacon there and you can buy it in like these three pound packages that are one pounds each, but they're in a pack of three. Oh, it's so good. I'm going to get her some bacon and I'll probably get some mac and cheese to take because even the kids will eat that. My sister and her kids live there. So yeah. Okay. Pull your tabs in. And now we're going to do, on the designer series paper, you can use liquid glue. And then we're going to talk about the cardstock, because that's a little different. So I love making boxes. I love for my stuff to color coordinate. You saw what I did with the Halloween stuff, right? <laughs> All the food and whatever. Yeah, and kind of a, just a, I wanted to say a knob about stuff like that, but it's really quite fun. I'm pretty picky about those types of things. So I love everything to match and... Probably has to do with growing up, you know, kind of, we didn't have much money and our stuff never matched. And so then you become a little bit over obsessive about it, maybe. I've gotten better, but I like things to match. And there we go. Okay. What brand of bacon Yvonne wants to know? I have no idea. It might even be Kirkland's, but it's at Costco. And I think it's Kirkland's bacon. And you get a pack of it like this, but there's, and it stands on its side, like, like, hmm. here's a piece of bacon. It stands on its side like this, and it's a whole pound, and then separate it a whole pound, and then separate it a whole pound. So you can cut the package apart and just take out one pound at a time. 
We like to um, put our bacon in the freezer until we use it, right? So it's just really good bacon, and I baked it in the oven, and it was the best bacon. First time I made it, I put it in the, um, I fried it on top of the stove, you know, in, in a fry pan. And I must have got it a little too done. We like our bacon crispy here. You want to put your, um, what's this stuff called? Tear and tape on the fold side, okay? That's where you're, you're going to put your tear and tape. You need to use tear and tape for this part, for the cardstock part. But anyways, um, I, I fried it in a fry pan, and it was horrible. Like, it had no flavor, and I'm like, oh, I'm never buying that bacon again. Well, then, you know, just like the Amish tape, I'm like, well, i got to use all this bacon up. <laughs> So I um, baked it in the oven because the kids were coming over for breakfast or something and I just didn't want to deal with all the, you know, the whole house smelling like bacon and I had some time. So I baked it in the oven. Best flipping bacon ever. It was just delicious. Okay, now, where did my take your pick tool go? Right here. Okay, so I like to use that. I'm going to pick off my backing. Good Lord. There we go. Be careful so you don't let this stick to anything. This is a little dangerous taking your backing off all at once like this, but we're all mature adults, <laughs> right? Ruth said she always makes her bacon in the oven. Um, yeah, I forget about it. Like I forget to do it that way and it takes a little more time and you know, I'm usually in a rush and whatever. But it really is good. It was just so good. So I thought, oh, I'm so glad I made it in the oven because when I fried it on the stove, it was horrible. Like, it didn't have any flavor, but I think I overcooked it too. But in the oven, it was delightful. Okay, now, I just put liquid glue on all of these, okay? But just that um, tear and tape on the outside edge. So now I'm going to pick these up. And you want to make sure that you're getting those corners squared up nicely, okay? This is not... Not hard by any means. All the corners squared up. There we go. And now we got these last two. I'm going to do one side, square that, and then pull this other side in. Oops, I got a little bit too far. There we go. Okay, here's our box bottom. Here is our little box top. Push it in a little bit so you can get that lid on. Whoops, hang on. There we go. Look at, look at how cute that is. Is that not adorable? Okay, so are you ready for the other three boxes? Because these are stinking cool. Here's the largest one. I used Night of Navy with this pattern of the paper. Uh, no, you don't cover it. I just... You just put it on parchment paper. You can also also take aluminum foil and line your um, your cookie sheet, and then you don't even have to wash it. So that's cool. Here comes the next one. This is the second from the largest box. Here comes the third one. This is um, mossy meadow. This is pretty peacock. And this is my very vanilla that we just made. Now, look at how cute these are, right? So what the heck am I going to do with these? Well, hang on, and I will show you. So I'm going to bring in some of this Forever Greenery. This is a combo pack of ribbon. You get this vanilla and then this gold cording in a combo pack. I've been using a lot of this. I'm going to bring this in. And... I am going to take it. Now, what am I going to do with these boxes? Well, right now I'm just going to show you how pretty they can be. But, um, Marlene says she wants to know what temperature and how long. Um, I don't remember. I look it up on Pinterest every time. So just go to Pinterest and do a search for bacon in the oven, and it will tell you. It's usually about like 45 minutes, I think. Um, I don't know if it's 350 or 400. I can't remember. But I look it up every single time. Okay, so we have all of these. What am I going to do with them? These will fit a pretty good size gift in it. Look how big this box is, you guys. So in comparison to my hand, it's pretty big. I could put socks in here, and I'd love to get really nice socks for Christmas and give those to my family. Next up, let's see. What could we put in here? We could put 
um, a nice little box of candy or anything like that. In here, I would probably put a little gift card to Starbucks or um, some place that I know is their favorite place to go. And then in here, you could do a little pair of earrings. You could do a little Christmas brooch. You could put some candy in here. Super cute, right? So let's finish this up because this stack together is just the cutest gift ever. And I've got another whole set to show you that I've already made too. So I'm going to bring this up here and, oh, Ellen just said 400 degrees, cold oven, 20 minutes. Really? Because I like my bacon crispy. So um, if you like it crispy, I think you're going to do it a little longer than that. It takes a little bit longer for my bacon, but that's a good start. Wendy says 375 for 20 to 30 minutes. Yeah, I just, I look on Pinterest every time. So I'm probably making it different every time I do it but it turns out, so <laughs> that's, a, that's a good thing, right? Okay, so here comes a bow, and I'm gonna leave my tails kind of long because I think, look at how pretty that is with those tails just kind of long on there. And then I'm gonna make this one about as long as that one. I love that they droop down over the edge, super cute, right? And then what I wanted to share with you is a tag to go on the front because this is what we do. We make things special. So here comes a little scrap of vanilla. And I am going to take, uh oh, where did my stamp go? Anybody? See? Oh, here it is. This is May Your Days Be Merry and Bright. And I thought it was kind of appropriate because the paper is brightly gleaming, right? <laughs> this is from the Wrapped in Christmas. Again, my favorite sentiment. Um, Nancy Taylor is saying air fryer at 400 degrees for 11 minutes. Thank you for that. Jane says eight minutes in the air fryer. Um, because I got an air fryer from Pampered Chef when I had my party this summer. I still haven't used it. Like I haven't, I have no idea how to use it. Maybe that's what I should take to my mom's house and figure that out, right? So I can never have time when I'm home. And Steve's been super busy too. So can't give him too much of a hard time. Okay, next thing we're going to do here is we're going to die cut this with... You know just the appropriate size circle die and this one is looks about one and a half inches you can punch this out do we have a punch do we have a one and a half inch punch hmm, I think we do but I don't know where mine is maybe we don't who knows but anyways I die cut it and when you do that you're gonna come up with that and then I have a scrap of this paper and I thought how cute would that be with the scallop die cut right so I die cut that let me put these away so I don't lose them. And we're going to stick these two together. And again, this is very vanilla, so it matches my boxes, this layer is. And then I brought out my Label Me Fancy Punch because it's got this little hole in it. And so I'm going to push this right into here. Let's see if I can get it before it sticks out the end. Yep, I think I can. Let's see. I'll put that right in the middle, and ooh, I'm kind of shaky tonight. Do you see that? There we go. And that put a little hole in there. <clears throat> and then we use the one ribbon, the weaved ribbon. Now we're going to use this gold cording. So you definitely want to get yourself some of this Forever Greenery Combo Pack because it's just outstandingly beautiful. And we're going to put that on there. And then before I go any further, I wanted to show you this little tidbit. So these are a bunch of little stars and they're called glitter star ornaments. Absolutely spectacular. They're all on strings. These are great to put on your little packages. Look at how cute that is, right? It's already on here. And what I did is, of course, this is all copper, right? So I didn't really want to put a silver star on my thing. So what I did is I got out my Versamark, and I felt like a real genius here. And I know other people know to do this, but I'm gonna push my star into my Versamark ink pad, turn it over and push it in again. And then I'm gonna bring out my copper embossing powder. Are you guys catching on? Yay! And I'm going to douse this with copper embossing powder. And you can then heat set this 
And if you missed any spots, you can do it again. Let me put this away first because I know that, oh, I am such a disaster sometimes. Okay, we're going to put the lid on this and put the lid on that. And then I've got my cranky old heat tool over here. I have a new one. You guys know that, right? I'm just too lazy to get it out. Can you see it turning? Yeah. Now we're going to let that dry a little bit because i got to turn it over to do the other side. Woo. I'm going to blow on it. Oh, and I rubbed some of the embossing powder off the other side. So I would, I would heat set this and then stick it in the Versamark again and add some more copper embossing powder. Or maybe not. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, I think it looks pretty cool. Look at that. Now be careful um, that just stuck to my finger a little bit. This is very hot until it dries a little bit and it takes a little bit longer because you're not on paper. And now it's okay. Look at how pretty that is, right? So what we're gonna do is we're going to take this gold twine. Whoops, hang on, I got stars everywhere. It's a unicorn type of day, right? Yep, magic. Okay, I'm gonna take this and let's see, what am I gonna do with this? I wanna put this on here, but I want it to be up just a little bit higher. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to tie a little knot and you could just finagle this around however you wanna do it, but I want my star knot to hang down below my tag. So I'm gonna put maybe a little knot right there Pull this apart, add my little star, and that knot's going to stop it. Yep, this is exactly what I wanted. I want that knot to stop the star so that it ends up right there. Okay, so that's what I'm doing here. We're going to take this and just slide it right under this weaved ribbon. Hang on. It's all about the presentation, my friends. All about the presentation. We'll do this. And if you left your tails a little longer, you could tie a bow, but I didn't leave mine long enough. I wanted to, but well, that's the way it goes, right? We, we can't have everything every time. <laughs> we like to. Sometimes it's just not reasonable. Now, if you wanted to, you could take this little star and you could attach it with a mini glue dot and stick it right on to your little tag. But what do you guys think of this? Right? Is this not the cutest little box ever? And you can see that I'm kind of messing around with it. I tied it tight enough that it's all staying on here. Like these aren't falling apart or falling off of their little, you know, tiered stacking. Super, super cool. I want to see another Another one. Now this uses, I think this is called the Heartwarming Hugs Designer Series Paper. Very bright and colorful. I used Whisper White, Real Red, um, Pear Pizzazz, and Mossy Meadow, which matches all of these colors. And I used the In the Pines stamp set. And I left the star silver. What do you guys think of that? Super cute, right? Yeah, so we have some beautiful gift boxes. I wish that my camera was a little bit nicer for you to be viewing this. And here comes a matching card, matches the paper. Doesn't get much cooler than that. Here comes another one, matches also. Very, very cool, right? Robin says she loves this stack of boxes. Kelly does too. Nancy Jill loves the red and the greens. Thank you guys so much. You're so sweet. So I, um, I have some mail to share with you. I'm going to get that out. Please know that I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you hitting that like button and also sharing this video. That really helps me out.
Yeah, and Kathy says you could put ribbon on both sides to keep it more stable. You really could, but like I said, this is really, like I didn't like glue this down or anything. It's really staying quite nicely. So you certainly could put ribbon on the other side. But that would be a lot more The only thing is you don't want to put the basket to take to somebody's house. And that's on top of it. Because they're only hard stuff designer paper, right? So thank you guys so much. I so appreciate it. Um, this is my blog address. I will have still photos of all of these projects as well as the dimensions for the boxes and the cards on my blog. I am going to get that photos taken and everything loaded up tonight. I've already started that process. But um, you're going to find my blog right here. If you'd like to place an order, I always appreciate your orders. This is my monthly host code right now. If your order is under $150, please use this code. If it's over $150, don't use the code. You're going to get some rewards from Stampin' Up! And I definitely want you to have those. Now, time for a little candy corn. What are you guys drinking tonight? I've got my same old, same old strawberry lemonade. You know me, I'm creature of habit. I said I was going to have some margaritas last night. I didn't even make any. Isn't that terrible? I'm going to save my tequila for my road trip. Not on the way, but once I get there. There's no drinking on the way to Wyoming. Okay, I have got a ton of mail here to share with you. Oh my lord, this is like the coolest thing ever. I had some gifts made. So hang on. I gotta get out all the things. Let me move these out of the way. Oh, we got bad sound again. That's why I didn't turn my camera around because that usually does it too. So look at this. Look at this. And I think this has potpourri inside. Is this not an amazing origami cool looking thing? Yeah. So let's talk about this a little bit. Oh, hang on. I gotta look. Um, oh my goodness. My label's gone. Okay, here's a card. Look at how pretty this is. Is the, I love this. This is so, so pretty. We've got pumpkin pie and mango melody with the love of leaves set. And copper underneath the hello layer. Absolutely gorgeous. And she says, this is from Cheryl Walker. I just wanted to drop you a note to let you know all of your achievements this year inspire us all. Thanks for sharing your life with us. Blessings, Cheryl. And then she said, enclosed you will find, oh, here we go. Enclosed you will find, hang on a second, two rags. And these help keep your fingers free of ink or sticky stuff. The rags were designed to be used in operating rooms during surgery. These rags have not been exposed to any bodily fluids, and she's taken, and she's had them since way before COVID. But she sent me a couple, and I'm thinking that you're just going to do this with your fingers. So I absolutely love this, Cheryl. Thank you so much. And this was Cheryl's card which is absolutely gorgeous. And hang on because we're gonna get to this right now. This is the, this is from Renee. And Renee is from Columbus, Ohio. And I just have to look at this, look at this envelope. Isn't that pretty? The flap is embossed. And look at this incredible card. Like this is a work of art. Beautiful, beautiful card. And Renee says, just wanted to say that I appreciate you taking the time to make people feel like family. That's so sweet. You give so much and go beyond, above and beyond just a job. Thanks for the bling that I won in the contest. It will get put to good use since I still have over 300 Christmas cards and Hanukkah cards to make for the senior home. Bless your heart, Renee. That is really, really nice. Thank you so much. So we've got this. And then check this out. This is for pictures. And this is all you guys made, oops, hang on, made out of paper. And she says, put a picture of Val here and here and here. Look at that. Is this not the coolest little thing ever? She made this all out of paper. Like, it's crazy. 
that's some that's some paper engineering for sure. But I am definitely going to get some pictures printed and put them in here because this is stinking adorable. <laughs> that's really cool, right, you guys? Okay, next up, we have... Let's see, I think this one just came in the mail today, and this is from Sandy Young. Look at how cute that is. Oh my good lord. And it says there's magic in this night. You know, magic. Yep. <laughs> she says, I sure hope you and your mom are both feeling much better. This crazy COVID has taken over our lives. Thank you for always having such a pleasant, upbeat attitude. You're so appreciated. Sandy, you're so sweet. Thank you so very much. And then we have Arliss Canoop. I just got this one today. Well, not today because it's Sunday, but yesterday. Look at this. Here, let me pull this off of here. Look at this. Isn't that cool? I love these fun folds. This is just the coolest. And Arliss says, a ghost turned up. Remember when we made this card at the town hall on Highway H? Like, this was... 10 years ago at least, Arliss came to a stamp camp that I had and we made a similar card to this. She goes, I just added some Stella to it. So she put some Stella on her pumpkins and you can see them glimmer. Very, very cool, Arliss. Thank you so much. That is just adorable. And then we have Denise and Denise sent this card. Isn't this cute? And Denise is thanking me for my order. I ordered a bag from her from 31, and I just got it in the mail yesterday or the day before. So you are very welcome. But look at how cute that little purse is, right? I love this. And then I ordered a makeup bag, and I think it hangs up. I like those kind that like will hang from the, the hook on the hotel door or whatever. Um, this one is from Eris. Eris Strain lives in Florida, and she says, Thanks for the gift of tags, tags, tags. I have used all of the Christmas stamps already. I like the stamps. Uh, hang on. I like the simplicity. Is that what it says? Simplicity? Oh, no. Hang on. Yeah, I think so. Simplicity of this card. I made it a good, and it's a good man's card. Thanks for being my demonstrator. Ah, you're so welcome. This is so appropriate for um, Eris as she lives in Florida, right? And I see there's a little wink of Stella on those trees too. This is a very nice man card. Thank you so much for sending that. And then I have Louise. Louise, and let me see if I can say her last name. Louis? I hope that's right. Look at how cute that is. Louise says, thank you so much for the stamp set and all your wonderful videos. Watching you, you're the best. You are too sweet. I love the little spider in here. But this, have a hoot. That is a cutie, right? And then we have my friend Denise. She is back in Arizona. And I'm jealous, but I hope to go visit her this winter. And she sent me this cool Halloween card. It says, something wicked this way comes. Happy Halloween. Halloween. Boy, is it hot out here. Good to be back. Yeah, thanks, Denise. Uh-huh. I'm jealous. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll come get some of that heat. Then we have Tundra Hudson. Look at how pretty this is. This is just a very pretty card. It uses that new little dainty diamond embossing folder. Tundra says, just wanted to thank you for the dainty diamonds embossing folder I won. Love being a part of of so much fun and laughter. Tundra is one of my team members and you are very welcome, Tundra. I'm glad to have you. And then we have Karen Karst. Look at how beautiful that is. Simply thankful for all the good things. And Karen says, I just wanted you to know how grateful I am for the September Median Door Prize. The new in color paper is so pretty and I'll have fun using the Daffodil Delight ribbon. Thank you for all you do for the members of your team. Oh, so nice. Thank you so much, Karen. Oh, I love that she used that Subtles embossing folder on the background of this white, too. That's really pretty. And if you look close, she's got vellum die-cut leaves in here. And that is really just a very soft, pretty look. And then I got a postcard from Beatrice Red. Look how cute this is. Hope you have a relaxing day. And this is embossed. Very, very pretty. And this says, I made this for National Postcard Day. I know I promised you a card, but I'm hoping this will do for now. But I'll still send a card, just don't know when. However you can, turn this 
into a card. Yay! She would love to see that. Isn't that pretty? I love it. So thank you, Beatrice, very much. Thank you guys so much for your cards. I think that is it. And I think we are good to go. Do I dare turn my camera around, you guys? I'm going to try. And then if it gets all stupid, we are going. Oh, there I am. <laughs> yeah, you know what? When I turned my camera around, it took a while for my phone to like catch it. So I think there's just some weird internet stuff going on tonight, I'll bet. Who knows? But I also know that my phone updated and I couldn't find Facebook. Did you guys have that problem? Like I'm on my phone. I'm like, oh my gosh, where's my Facebook? Well, there's some new thing. You got to swipe and it comes in in an app and ugh. You know how it is. All right, you guys, I'm going to let you go. I've got lots of work to do before I can go to bed, and I will be going up north to see my mom tomorrow. I'm probably going to be home Sunday, or not Sunday, Wednesday night, because Thursday night is awards night for Stampin' Up. I want you guys all to keep your fingers crossed. I um, should be getting some awards, and we don't know what they are. It's all like a big surprise, and I'm super excited about it. I will tell you all about it when I know what's going on. But um, yeah, so we're having awards night and my team that are going to on stage at home, which is a virtual event, we're all going to get together on a Zoom so we can all be watching awards night at the same time because it's so much better to celebrate with a bunch of people than all alone, right? We can do that virtually. So I have a big Zoom account and it's wonderful. Mary Ellen wants to know where I'm going in Wyoming. I'm going to Sheridan, Wyoming. And I've been there several times. It's a beautiful little town. And I'm going to stay with my friend Barb. I'm picking Dina up in Iowa and then heading to Sheridan, Wyoming. And we're going to be gone for about a week. Now, it's not necessarily a vacation. Believe me, we are going to have a ton of fun. But we'll also be working the whole time. So that's what we do. We collaborate. We're all Stampin' Up! demonstrators. And we collaborate to work together with each other so that we can work smarter, not harder. So we split things in thirds and it works out so fabulous. Um, so I only have to do a third of the work of for this thing and Barb does a third of the work and Dina does a third of the work. So we're gonna be working, but we're also gonna be playing. I told you I'm taking the tequila so we can make the margaritas. <laughs> cha, cha, cha. <laughs> I'm excited, but I'm also excited to go see my mom. I miss her. And I'm going to go sit in a tree and freeze my you-know-what's off. Yeah, squirrel. <laughs> okay, um, how long is it? It's about 15 hours or so, 14 to 15 hours to drive to Wyoming. But um, it's a road trip that and me and Dina have just so much fun on the way there. And we'll even like FaceTime Barb so she can ride along with us. And we'll bring the flat Barb. I got to go get flat Barb. Hang on, I'll show you flat Barb, you guys. Because it's pretty funny. Let's see if I got flat barb. Yep, I do. We got to bring flat barb with us. So that she can be in all our pictures. See? And if you do this right, you almost don't know that she's not really there. I got to pull her back a little bit so her head isn't so big. Right? <laughs> this is how we take barb when she's not there. And Barb has the unicorn. We all do. Okay, I'm going to let you guys go. I hope you have a wonderful week. I do have a tip video on Wednesday. Um, I don't know what else is going on this week. But remember, Tuesday, Curvy Celebrations, that big promotion starts. I'll probably put something on my blog so you know what's going on. I might even do a little video because I do have some cards designed. This is happening on Tuesday. La la la. You're going to love it. Like I said, when we have a question like this, you're going to find a gazillion ideas because Stamping Up! demonstrators all over the world purchase this and they are working with it and designing with it and creating lovely, lovely things. So, thanks you guys. I will make sure that I drive safely. I'm pretty sure we're going to take the big explorer. It's a gas pig, but I don't care. Um, last time we took Dina's car and that was very nice. So I think we'll probably take my new Explorer. I'm really fun. Oh, Mary Ellen, you're north of Billings. My friend Barb is actually from Billings. So that's pretty cool. We've been, we've
we, we, we have one in Barb's house and flown into Billings. She picks us up there and uh, brings us back to Sheridan. But, yeah, we're going to have a blast. I just know it. So thank you guys for the well wishes and the safe driving wishes. And um, I don't know if I'm going to have a Facebook Live, not live, for next Sunday or not because... I don't know, I shouldn't whine, but that's the kind of thing that lets me not get up to my mom's house because I really should stay home and do that, but I need to go. So, we'll see. It is what it is, right? I may not have one, and I just want you to know that, but I will not be live next Sunday. Um, I may be not live, but I won't be live. I may have a video for you, but I don't know. Anyways, oh, Yahoo, Explorer, better ride. Classy. I know Judith. That thing is so fancy. Like, I made it remote start. I know how to do it now. The one day I went outside and all that happened was the hatch came up in the back. It was like a total fail. But um, I do know how to do it now, so I'm pretty excited. Yeah, Linda says, go see your mom. I'm going to go see my mom. My mommy needs me. Maybe Kelly needs her mommy. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, thank you guys so much for joining me tonight. It's always so much fun. And I just want you to know how much I appreciate you and all your kind comments and participation. This wouldn't be much fun by myself, right? <laughs> yeah. Have a great week. Bye-bye.